tuna niçoise salad. Preheat your oven to 450 and then cut your potatoes, pound and a half of potatoes into quarters. Once you have them all cut up, you're gonna put them on a baking sheet in a single layer. And then two tablespoons of olive oil, season with salt, 450 degree oven for 15 minutes. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna make my salad dressing. A quarter cup of lemon juice. And then to that, add a quarter cup of white wine vinegar. That can go straight into your mason jar. And then a cup of olive oil. And then season it, salt and pepper. This is a little bit acidic, this dressing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, two teaspoons. Okay, so 15 minutes, potatoes. Add your tomatoes, and then back in the oven for about 10 more minutes. I need a half a cup of Kalamata olives, and then two cans of tuna. Drain it. I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting it out of this jar. That's okay. It'll be worth the struggle. Time to assemble the salad. I'm gonna dress my arugula. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper and then toss. It's, it's important because if you drizzle the dressing on your greens when it's already on the platter, you won't be able to toss them, so it won't get nice and coated. Right on your platter, on your serving platter, then your tuna, then your olives. Should be gorgeous and appealing to the eye. Last but not least, the tomatoes and the potatoes. It's nice, it's rustic, it's summery, it's delicious. I love it, and it's so beautiful, don't you think? Are you bored of the same old sandwiches being brought to work day after day? I have a great new take on a tuna salad. I'm grating one teaspoon of lemon zest. I'm adding that to one tablespoon of low-fat Greek yogurt and two tablespoons of mayonnaise and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Stir it together. You might want to use a whisk, but I feel like once I start adding the rest of the ingredients, it'll smooth right out. Season it with salt, pepper, and then for some nice crunch, why not add a stalk of celery? That's about half a cup of diced celery. Then you can add your tuna. It's one can of water-packed tuna. If you're not concerned about calories, go ahead and use the oil pack. Stir that just a little bit. And then for the final ingredient, Granny Smith apple. Use the large holes of the box grater and then just grate it into long strips. Add that and you have a delicious tuna salad. You can serve this however you want. I'm gonna make a sandwich. A Little bit of cucumber. Get nice green, crisp freshness from the cube. A Little bit of red onion. I'm shaving mine paper thin because I have a super sharp knife. And now make your sandwich. This makes two sandwiches, so you get two delicious lunches out of this. Mmm, yummy. Fresh, crisp cucumber. A little spicy red onion. And to harken back to my childhood hippie roots, some alfalfa sprouts. I'm sure lots of people eat sprouts and they're very good for you, but that's what they remind me of. So fresh and delicious and quite a bit healthier than your average tuna salad. It's time for a dinner salad, don't you think? It's a tuna beet and chickpea salad. Don't be afraid. You don't even have to cook the beets. I'm using packaged store-bought beets, a fantastic convenience item, I might add. Salad dressing, a tablespoon of Dijon, third of a cup of balsamic vinegar. It's really nice, though, to have a little bit of sweetness with the beets and the chickpeas. Equal parts olive oil and balsamic vinegar, so a third of a cup, slightly lower in fat because of that. Normal ratios, three parts oil to one part vinegar. Let's not forget salt and pepper. Simple, no garlic, no herbs, no nothing, just that. So then just pour some of your dressing into a little bowl. Cut the rest aside for later. I have two cans of tuna, tuna's in the bowl, and then just break it up and toss it a little bit. Set that aside. And the chickpeas, one can, and then drain them. Then your beets. Careful because there might be a little bit of liquid, so you might want to drain it on a paper towel if you have one. And then just cut them into wedges. I have a head of romaine. You can cut it into pieces if you want to. I'm just cutting them lengthwise. Put them right onto a platter. Baby spinach with your lettuce. You can use whatever greens you want, really. Beets on top. I think it's really kind of important when you're making a salad like this to make sure it's really beautiful because it's going to be your main course and you want it to look pretty. Then those chickpeas. Finally, that tuna that you had in the dressing over the top. It's a main course salad. And then really finely the rest of that dressing. And then it's really beautiful.